Today we're going to talk about the most desirable tourist city in Europe. It is the most desirable tourist city in Europe due to its unique combination of history, culture, and natural beauty. The city has a long and fascinating history, which is evident in the architecture and monuments found throughout the Old Town. The stunning landscapes surrounding the city, including the Adriatic Sea and nearby islands, provide visitors with a range of outdoor activities such as swimming, snorkeling, and hiking. The city is also known for its gastronomy, offering a wide range of traditional Croatian dishes and international cuisine. With its warm Mediterranean climate, friendly locals, and diverse attractions, it is an ideal destination for any traveler seeking an unforgettable experience in Europe. So, let's look at the top five things that you can do in Dubrovnik, the most desirable tourist city in Europe. Number five, take a complete tour of the city walls. Dubrovnik, Croatia is famous for its stunning architecture and breathtaking views of the Adriatic Sea. But if you want to experience the city in a truly unique way, you have to take a complete tour of the city walls. The city walls of Dubrovnik are one of the most well-preserved fortifications in Europe. Built in the 13th century, the walls encircle the entire old town and offer panoramic views of the city and the sea. You can begin your tour at the Pile Gate, the main entrance to the old town. From there, you can ascend the walls and start your journey around the city. As you walk along the walls, you will see the red-roofed houses, the bustling streets, and the turquoise waters of the Adriatic Sea. You will also encounter the many towers and fortresses that once protected the city from invaders. One of the most impressive structures on the tour is the Mincita Tower, which offers stunning views of the city and the sea from its highest point. Another notable structure is the Bokar Fortress, which was used to defend the city from sea attacks. The tour takes about two hours to complete, and there are plenty of opportunities to stop and take pictures along the way. But the best time to take the tour is during sunset, when the light hits the city in a way that's truly magical. Upon your visit to Dubrovnik, be sure to take a complete tour of the city walls. It's an experience you won't forget. Number four, visit Dubrovnik's Old Town. Dubrovnik's Old Town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the southern part of Croatia. The town is famous for its medieval architecture, stunning limestone streets, and its rich history that dates back to the 7th century. The main entrance to the Old Town is through the Pile Gate, which is a perfect starting point to explore the charming streets that lead to the main square. The Stratum, the main street of Dubrovnik, is a pedestrianized street lined with shops, cafes, and restaurants. It's a perfect place to grab a coffee or a bite to eat while enjoying the view of the town. The old town is also home to numerous historical sites, such as the Dubrovnik Cathedral, which features a beautiful Baroque facade. The Rector's Palace, located on the main square, was the residence of the former rulers of Dubrovnik and now houses a museum with an extensive collection of art and artifacts from the town's history. The old town of Dubrovnik is also famous for its unique blend of Eastern and Western cultures. Visitors can explore the Sponza Palace, which features Gothic and Renaissance elements, or the Franciscan Monastery, which is a fine example of Romanesque architecture. It's a perfect place to immerse oneself in history, culture, and stunning natural beauty all at once. Number three, visit Lovrijenac Fort. This fortress is perched on a cliff overlooking the Adriatic Sea and has played an important role in the town's history for centuries. The fort was built in the 11th century to defend Dubrovnik from enemy attacks. It was built on a rocky outcropping that is surrounded by steep cliffs, making it nearly impossible to conquer. The fortress is surrounded by massive walls that are up to 12 meters thick in some places. Inside, there is a central courtyard, which was once used for military drills and training. The views from the Vrijenac fort are simply breathtaking. From the top of the fort, visitors can see the entire old town of Dubrovnik as well as the crystal clear waters of the Adriatic Sea. Today, Lovrijenac Fort is used as a venue for theatrical and cultural events. So there are two compelling reasons to visit this ancient fortress. Firstly, the view of Dubrovnik from its vantage point is absolutely breathtaking. Secondly, Lovrijenac's fortress is a filming location for the popular TV series Game of Thrones and specifically where the tournament was held on King Joffrey's name day. It's also a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from all over the world who want to learn more about the fort's rich history and take in the stunning views. Number two, see the clock tower. 
This impressive structure stands tall in the heart of the city, overlooking the bustling Straden Street below. The clock tower was built in the 15th century and is one of the few remaining parts of the original town walls. It served as a main entrance into the town, and its clock was used to regulate the workday of Dubrovnik's citizens. The clock mechanism is made up of three separate parts, the clock face, the bell, and the clockwork. The clock face is made of bronze and features intricate designs and patterns, while the bell is made of cast iron and weighs over two tons. At the top of the church, there was a great bell flanked by two bronze figures known as Baro and Maro. These figures hold mallets and work as the mechanism that produces the church's chime at noon daily. Over time, the salty air of the Adriatic has caused the bronze figures to adopt a peculiar green hue, leading them to be called the Green Men or Zelenti. Visitors can climb to the top of the clock tower and enjoy stunning views of the old town and the surrounding hills. It's the perfect place to take in the sights and sounds of Dubrovnik. The clock tower is especially beautiful at night when it is lit up by the soft glow of streetlights. It's a popular meeting spot for locals and tourists alike. Number one, visit Lockrum's Island. Lockrum Island, located just a short ferry ride from the old town of Dubrovnik, is a must visit destination for anyone traveling to the region. And here are a few reasons why. First and foremost, Lockrum Island is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the area. Visitors can spend the day soaking up the sun on the island's rocky shores or take a refreshing dip in the crystal clear waters of the Adriatic. In addition to its beaches, Lockrum Island is also home to a number of historical landmarks and cultural attractions. The island is home to a 19th century fortress, a monastery that dates back to the 11th century, and even a botanical garden that is home to a wide variety of plant species. But perhaps the biggest draw of Lockrum Island is its stunning natural beauty. The island is covered in lush vegetation, including pine forests, olive groves, and even a small salt lake. Visitors can spend hours hiking and exploring the island's natural wonders, taking in panoramic views of the Adriatic and the surrounding coastline. Lockrum Island is also home to a variety of restaurants and cafes, making it the perfect place to relax and unwind after a day of sightseeing and exploration. Overall, Lockrum Island is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Dubrovnik. Whether you're interested in history, culture, or just soaking up the sun and enjoying the natural beauty of the Adriatic, Lockrum Island has something for everyone. If you are seeking a combination of a beach vacation and cultural experience, Dubrovnik is the ideal destination and the perfect answer. The well-maintained medieval town offers an opportunity to learn about the city's rich history while also enjoying the stunning Croatian coastline. So, when do you plan on visiting this stunning city in Europe? Let us know in the comments below! And as always, where to next?